You're watching the American Athletic Conference on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome to Uptown New Orleans for an early afternoon collision in the Crescent City. It's the two-lane green wave off to its best conference start since joining the AAC, playing host to the SMU Mustangs, winners of nine of their last 10 games. The 11th ranked Houston Cougars have picked up right where they left off after their final four run a year ago, the lone unbeaten right now in American play, but hot on their heels, Tulane and SMU winner today has sole possession of second place. And we say good afternoon inside Avard B. Fulgham Arena in the Devlin Fieldhouse. David Grubb and Jack Benjamin with you. No question right now who the surprise of the American is. The Tulane Green Wave, 4-12 and in conference play a year ago, ninth in the preseason poll, started the year 3-6. and six. Something special is going on right now with Ron Hunter's group. Best conference start as a program in 25 years. What's allowed them to flip the switch? Kendrick Davis locked up by Baker. Can't shake him. Outside a nut all stolen away. Tylen Pope to the rack. Jalen Cook step back triple. Wow. Oh, he's got another one. Wow. He's a flamethrower. Davis pull up three. He's feeling it now. He's got 16. And the leading score in the AAC starting to roll in New Orleans with his fourth three. Extra feed, Hardaway, he's made wow. three threes, make wow. it four. Four for five from distance, a Holy career God. high 14. SMU trying to get a huge road win. Michael Weathers, they find Davis, that's a three, got it again. Kendrick Davis with a career high seven threes and 22 points, and maybe the knockout blow here in New Orleans. Can Tulane get something in transition? Jalen Cook down the lane, flips it up and in. Oh, he's Houdini. Now one of the unique stories of this SMU Mustangs basketball team, twin brothers, Michael and Marcus Weathers, who actually began playing together at Miami, Ohio back in 2016, 2017. They are natives of Roland Park, Kansas, won a state title at Shawnee Mission North High School with their one and two all time in scoring. One of seven sets of twins playing D1 basketball. You know, it's fascinating because they spent four years apart after that initial year playing for that guy on the bench there. You can see him, John Cooper, who was their head coach at Miami, Ohio. His second year as an assistant, he actually ended up coaching Michael at Oklahoma State for a year as well. Michael's made three college stops, Oklahoma State and Texas Southern. Marcus, three years at Duquesne. You talk about a package deal with two guys who give you different things. Pretty good get if you think about what uh, Tim Jankovic has in his hands. Yeah, you get Mr. Inside, you get Mr. Outside, you get guys who are familiar with each other in their games. And those brother, the two brothers talked about how hard it was those four years being apart from each other. So certainly that excitement of being there to play with your brother on a night-to-night -night basis adds something to the team as well. A couple misses at the free throw line for Sion James and the Green Wave just four for eight at the line today. Yeah, Michael was at Texas Southern in the previous two years. He was the SWAC Newcomer of the Year last year. Went to the NCAA tournament with them. Scored 24 in a round of 64 game against Michigan. Two-time All-Conference for Marcus at Duquesne. Zach Nuttall, a triple. And the rebound for Sion James. If you're just joining us, Tulane 4-1, their best ever start since joining the AAC in 2014-2015. SMU at 3-1, 9-2 in the AAC against Tulane. Green Wave beat them in the last meeting in February 2020. As Cross misses inside, Green Wave have never beaten, I should say they haven't beaten SMU back-to-back -back times since 1992 and 1999. Well, this is as good an opportunity as they're going to get. You have them at home, you're playing well, um, you've given up a little bit too much on the outside tonight, but Tulane has shown in the first half that they can turn it around defensively. That's where they need to start making their mark right now uh, and make a stand here against the Mustangs. Tulane led by five at the half. SMU is led by as many as six in this second half. Zurich Phelps over to Zach Nunnall. The Sam Houston transfer flips it up and off. Got his rebound, though. And here's another one of those second shot opportunities. Kendrick Davis for Zurich Phelps. Misses a three, rebound Forbes. Tulane can tie or take the lead on this trip. I'd like to see maybe if you can get something for Jalen Forbes here in this situation. Or that guy. Jalen Cook's a pretty good option, too. Never a bad thing for him to take the shot. 17 points. 
He has scored 15 or more points in every game but one this season, which was Alcorn State when he left early with a hamstring injury. Kendrick Davis, rare second half miss for him. Rebound to Forbes, tied at 49. We've been tied three times today, three lead changes. Bunch of momentum swings in this game. Tulane had a 12-0 first half run. Kevin Cross off one leg, kind of Dirk Nowitzki-esque, and not close. It just didn't seem he was sure of what he wanted to do with the basketball. Oh, Davis the lob and Bandamel the finish. Soaring high to the rafters, and he's got 15 points. Only a couple shy of his season high. And that's a basket in transition. Tulane did not get back off of the cross miss. That's unusual for them. Jalen Cook had it knocked away. Right back to cross. Goes up through Tristan Clark. No foul call. Davis ahead. Bandamel outside Phelps on a three. And an air ball. It, it looks like there's some fatigue settling in. It just it feels as if the first half pace is starting to impact guys now. Cross right at Clark, played him well again, and there's the block. Oh, Tristan Clark with a huge rejection. And then a foul called, and RJ McGee is down in some pain. And this is the Tristan Clark that Tim Jankovic thought he could get. Here's a guy who has just overcome so much. Was really one of the best players in the Big 12 back in 2018-2019. 14.6 rebounds on 74% shooting. And Two blocks per game, David. Then he had a torn meniscus. 15th game of the year against Iowa State. Missed all that year. Had to battle back the following season. Just wasn't quite himself. He medically retired the following year. He just said he couldn't do it anymore. Stuck around Baylor. Took classes. Wasn't on the team. Got a stem cell treatment. Knee started feeling a little better. He can't go every night for this team. He didn't play for maintenance reasons Wednesday. But when he can play, he can give you that, like that block. Yeah, and you see he's been a, a solid force on the offensive glass and uh, the defensive boards as well. Just doesn't have the explosion in that, from that knee injury. Davis, shooter's touch right in front of his bench for three. He's got 19. He's been so good in the second half. Again, doing everything pretty much from beyond the arc. Cook and Davis, Noble Day's mid-range is off. Oh, Talon Pope soaring for a putback. Coach Hunter's gone with a, a really an energy group right now, trying to create something for a team that had gotten stagnant as we opened the second half. The issue right now is they can't contain Kendrick Davis. 19 points to the AAC's leading scorer and a three-point lead for SMU.